we're in a really tough time in America. There are economics that are not working for a lot of Americans. And if you read the history, you know that when economic situations are tough, it's easier to default to, to sad and tired and unfortunate narratives. I remember I was invited to a church as a priest. Then there was this nice looking man. And he looked into my face, straight in the eye, and said, I don't take communion from black people. There's so much that we don't talk about when it comes to racism. If we're not all seen equally in the eyes of our systems, of people, then we're not at the same starting point. It's not what God intended for us. work of this center and of this diocese help us to create God's beloved community anew, which is nothing less than the very dream of God and the end of our nightmare. We are this historic city that gave birth to Martin Luther King and so much of the civil rights struggle. And the Absalom Jones Center itself was very involved in the Atlanta student movement. This center makes so much sense to be in this space, in this city. Dismantling racism is about working on your internal self to the degree that we are willing to let ourselves be set free, to be more willing to take down the structures that are keeping people from being free. We have more commonalities, things that bind us as Christians. Jesus says, love one another as I have loved you. Go and preach that love. Go and create that beloved community. We shall either learn to live together as brothers and sisters, or we will perish together as fools. The choice is ours, chaos or community. That was true in 1967, and it's true now in the 21st century. In fact, it may be even more true. We challenge ourselves to love like Jesus. If we're honest, none of us love like Jesus, either as gently or as courageously. I think we've got to normalize courage. The truth of America is she is a great nation, she continues to be a great nation, but she is not a sinless nation. And so I think that we can live out the true meaning of our creeds, as Dr. King says, once we find the courage to look at the gaps between what we say and how we live. That's the only way we'll make progress.